Okay, morning everyone. Welcome to the briefing on Saturday the 22nd of October. <coughs> well, this is a very variable um, charts that we've got. And it just seems to change every 12 hours and, and not sort of move, but just change radically. Um, so a sort of a bit of an unpredictable situation as to exactly what's going to happen. Um, certainly even even six to 12 hours ahead. Uh, but what we've got, uh, this low pressure we were watching yesterday, I thought it was going to intensify uh, across the north of us, but it seems to be just sort of like breaking up a little bit. Another one developing down here. And they're feeding in essentially uh, warm, moist, southwesterly winds uh, over us uh, for most of today and tomorrow, really. And as you can see, the, there's, there's reasonable spacing on the isobars. Um, so wind's not strong uh, enough to sort of put us on runway two, three, I think operationally, but actually not howling. Uh, they, they painted a sort of weak occluded front in here. Doesn't appear to be any rain I can see as far down south as here uh, on the rainfall radar. So I think it's more a cloud feature and then you may get some odd showers out of it this afternoon. Uh, hard to tell really uh, this low pressure then starts to sort of develop a little bit here but it's still feeding in fronts and, and the timing of the fronts um, for the next 24 hours will determine what happens tomorrow really so for today um, much shorter taff as you can see Farnborough down here Yesterday was three lines. Um, they were they were covering all their bases. <coughs> what they're saying today is uh, two ten eight knots. Well, it's it, most places are giving about two twenty two thirty um, five to eight knots at the moment. Um, I can see looking out the window that the turbine at two ee is is pretty much down the line of two three, and it looks like it's going to stay. In, that way, most of the day, perhaps swing towards the end of the day, that's four or five o'clock, swinging more southerly. Uh, scattered at four and a half. I think there will be some clouds about, I think it'll be four and a half thousand feet somehow. Uh, and this is what they're sort of suggesting might be the, the outcome of the weak front coming in sometime in the afternoon between sort of one and four. Uh, we run the risk of, of showers. Uh, it's a prop 30, so isolated. Um, on that one, not sort of, yeah, you know, you'd just be unlucky to catch one, I think. Upper winds um, in the sort of 200, 220 bracket, um, and brisk out in the channel, uh, I think over us 20 knots, um, 220 degrees seems to be about right. The sat pick just shows to the south. Um, Quite a lot of cloud down in here, uh, and this stuff's just gone gone past us. So it, it's reasonably clear, pretty much what you can see out the window. And I think, you know, as we go along, we're probably going to get some more of this this frontal system down here developing, uh, and see a little bit more cloud. Uh, nothing on the rainfall radar particularly, even down over northern France. So it's not as if there's a uh, lines of rain coming in it's just isolated showers you can see and that i think might be the case for the rest of the day i'm, I'm going to keep an eye on what's what's happening down here in the next hour that might be something a little bit more organized temperature wise might even feel warmer than yesterday which which actually felt quite mild um 16 17 degrees <coughs> in the sunshine i think it's about right quite pleasant um, but again it's it's drawing up air from from northern Spain, really, so quite mild air mass coming across um, from that area and across the Bay of Biscay. Top Meteo, well, that's now-ish. Um, shows it reasonably clear here. Bits of cloud down to the southwest. And as we go along, you know, cumulus starting uh, late morning. And then I think they are predicting the odd shower in here, more rain in the west of England. Mm. Um, so 
perhaps later on today is when that, that front actually gets here. Other forecasts aren't picking this up at all, interestingly. So chance of soaring, maybe a little bit of local soaring. Yeah, if we look at sort of 11, 12 o'clock, they're suggesting 700 meters. And if we keep following that through, they're suggesting that sort of light rain gets here very late afternoon. Sky site, this is the, the rainfall chart for Sky site that shows very little even running into late afternoon, more in the West Country, just the chance of an isolated shower. So they're, um, they're being more, more optimistic on, on little chance of rain. Uh, we shall see and see what happens. Uh, uh, keep an eye on the rainfall radar. So definitely a flyable day, flyable most of the day by the looks of it, uh, clouding over potentially later. Um, and a little bit of local soaring perhaps. Uh, light southwesterly winds, I think uh, nothing too strong. I'll talk about airfield operation in a second once we've had a quick look at NOTAMs. <coughs> Locally to us, you can see nothing in the Lasham area. All around and, and, and through here. It's all clear. The usual stuff at a weekend. You know, they are operating at Middle Wallop, number 16 uh, and number 19 because of the southwesterly wind. Um, the hang gliding people of uh, NOTAM that they'll be operating off the hills just to the south of Marlborough, Milk Hill. Uh, they'll be about and that's really about it uh, locally to us. Fairly quiet on the, the airspace front. There's no jet movements. But what I will talk about briefly uh, is airfield operations and how we're going to set up. It's rained quite a bit over the last two to three days. Um, so all well, the ground's not going to be soggy. It will take a lot more rain than that to sort of start to make it squelchy. Um, it's going to be a bit soft in places. Uh, so we're just going to, until we know how the ground's going to settle down, we're operating on runway two, three. We'll have the winch position somewhere around the cutout here or, or slightly further forward of that just to start off with. And we're going to operate on the the tarmac here essentially the idea is um then i'll show you in a second we, we have the launch point vehicle over one side and operate the cables on the edge being towed out by the boom uh, and we operate on the tarmac so landing this area should all be fine down through here and so should this area here uh, let's just zoom in a little bit mind everybody how we do that yeah we stick the launch point vehicle over here about that area there we have the gliders ne next to it on the tarmac and the cables come down here by the retrieve truck driving on the tarmac but towing the cables with a boom uh, and aero towing will take place just on the grass edge here so it's, it's a little bit more compressed than normal uh, so you need to be aware of that when you're maneuvering vehicles and gliders around um, but it allows us to not cut up the grass too much uh, down through here we'll give that a try first thing <laughs> if we think we can actually operate on the grass with cables being towed out mm -hmm. on the grass we'll we'll go with that uh, but i haven't actually done a, a sort of pitch inspection yet to work out how damp it is down through here it tends to get really soggy in this area back here and right down here so um, should drain fairly quickly uh, we'll see um, okay, folks, uh, see you out there. We need pretty much all the um, um, the gliders out today. I think everything is pretty, all the two-seaters are pretty much booked. Uh, and hopefully we'll uh, get them all out and have a busy day. <laughs>